I'm Leah and welcome back to the Not Only Carrots YouTube channel. Today I will be letting you know the words for hidden dairy in the ingredients lists. Let's get started. Okay, this list is ridiculously long and I didn't memorize it. So my cute little doggy and me are going to read the list out to you today and you can get just as freaked out as I did when I read the list. These are the hidden words for dairy. Here we go. Acidophilus milk, ammonium caseinate, butter, butter fat, butter oil, butter solids, butter milk, butter milk powder, calcium caseinate, casein, caseinate in general, cheese, or they're all animal based, condensed milk, cottage cheese, cream, curds, custard, delactosed whey, demineralized whey, dry milk powder, dry milk solids, evaporated milk, ghee, Goat's cheese, goat's milk, half and half, hydrolyzed casein, hydrolyzed milk protein, iron caseinate, lactalbumin, lactoferrin, lactoglobulin. Wow, that's a big one. Lactose, lactulose, low fat milk, magnesium caseinate, malted milk, milk, milk derivative, milk fat, milk powder, milk protein, milk solids, natural butter flavor, non fat milk, nougat, paneer, potassium caseinate, pudding. Recaldant, rennet casein, gotta breathe. Sheep milk, sheep milk cheese, skim milk, sodium caseinate, sour cream, sour milk solids, sweetened condensed milk, sweet whey, whey, whey powder, whey protein concentrate, whey protein hydrosylate, whipped cream, whipped topping, whole milk, yogurt, and zinc caseinate. Okay, as you can see, the list of these hidden dairy foods in ingredients is very, very long and there's lots of things to consider. But after you've been vegan for a while, you start to just notice these words and you don't think twice about them. And you'll also start to get used to brands that don't contain these dairy ingredients and it becomes habitual what you'll buy from the shops and so on. So don't get too freaked out. But it is really important for you to notice that if, for instance, you decide to be vegan and then you're finding that you're not seeing the health changes you expected, it's possible that you're eating something that's still got hidden dairy. So Check out that list and see if the things in your cupboard are actually as healthy as you're hoping they are. Keep in mind too, if you're gonna be following a whole food plant-based diet, you won't necessarily be buying a lot of things off the shelf that are gonna have more than say five to eight ingredients. So as long as you're focusing on healthy foods, this isn't gonna be as big of a problem. But if you're eating a lot of processed foods, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're reading all of those ingredients. If you are curious about the effect that dairy can have on your body, there are two books I recommend you have a look at. One is The China Study by Dr. T. Colin Campbell. We have links below for this. And also for the book, Your Life in Your Hands by Dr. Jane A. Plant, who actually cured her own breast cancer by eliminating dairy and following a very strict, almost 100% plant-based diet. The other book I recommend is How Not to Die by Dr. Michael Greger. He runs nutritionfacts.org and we have linked his book and the others below. So make sure you check them out and we look forward to sharing many more videos with you and make sure you watch out for those hidden nasties in your ingredients lists. We'll see you next time. Bye.